I use a number of devices when I'm authenticating a document. This is a pretty simple little device. You could get it at Radio Shack. It's a magnifying glass that goes right on the item. Gives kind of a smallish field of view. It's 30 power. You can adjust. It has a light. And if you want to use less magnification, this is about 2 power. You can put that right over the item. It's pretty good. You could take it with you on the road. Very transportable. Good standby item. This is a little more expensive. This is a Pentax magnifier. Place that right on the item. It picks up the light from the room and gives you a crystal clear image which you can adjust. And you get a much wider field when looking at an item through this. This is a neat little item. This is called an optic. And it's one solid piece of glass that's been specially made to magnify. This is a government surplus item that I'm told cost the government $5,000 and was used in tanks to optimize the infrared during Desert Storm, the first Iraq war. Great little item. Place it right on top of the signature. And it brings the light in through the fiber optics and brings it back up. And you get a crystal clear view of whatever you're looking at. You could move it and you could look at another item and compare it. Hold another item right next to it and compare it and this gives you magnification and lighted magnification. We sell these as well. They go for $300. Quite a discount from what the government paid, I guess. This item, you've probably seen it on CSI. It's called a ProScope. And this item connects into your computer and will give you magnification of up to 200 power. And you could also do things that manipulate the light so you can get a different image. Uh, you could take snapshots. You could take movies. It's a very useful tool, but it's a little bit complicated. I don't recommend this for the average collector, but if, you're, if you do expert witness work or you work for law enforcement, it's a great tool. Finally, and the most sophisticated piece of equipment we have in the office is the video spectral comparator. Now, this is a $30,000 machine. It's not available to the general public. It's only available to people who are expert witnesses or who are in my field. And as far as I know, there's only one owned by a private dealer uh, in this country. And there may be two more that are used by authenticators. I want to show you something interesting about this. Here's a Gerald Ford signed White House card, but look at the date. It's dated 8974. That's the date that Nixon resigned. And this would be a very, very valuable item because it would have been dated the first day that Gerald Ford became president of the United States. However, even though that's what it looks like, this device is able to bombard the item with a kind of light that gives it a spectrographic analysis. And every ink is different. So look at this. Actually, we learned by using this device that it's two separate inks and that the date was added later, thus creating a forgery. see it a lot clearer there. That's the best. Completely different inks applied at different times. Although the naked eye will show that it looks like it was added at the same time. To sum it up, you need a lot of tools in your arsenal in order to fight forgeries. And if you don't have those tools, what you really need to be dealing with is a reputable and honest dealer. We hope you visit our website, universityarchives.com.